straight on with the action down the first tee, goal at number two, here we have Derek Carmichael. Now, unusually, there is hardly a breath of wind out there, so you can really launch your drives nice and high, <laughs> or just trundle them underneath that one mile an hour breeze that there is. Derek not taking any chances. Par 3 fifth at Gullen and Robert Vine. Now, it's a par 3, what's he going with? Is he get the 4 iron, the 3 iron? No, it's the putter. He's went with the putter. And, well, not a bad effort, actually, it has to be said. Over halfway there. Uh, probably didn't notice those bunkers that are out in front of the green. Uh, but, uh, well, there you go. Now we can move out to North Berwick again, and we are at the third tee, and ready to tee off Jeff Barden. He's feeling confident, so confident that he was trying to tee off from the medal tees when the competition is actually off the blue boxes. And uh, Yes, it was pointed out that that's slightly more than two club lengths back uh, from the tee spot, but Jeff obviously feeling very confident if he can add 15 or 20 yards to each of his tee shots. Out to the 11th at Gullen. Now, everybody will remember this is a long, long par 3. Downhill, though it may be, it's still a long, long way. And here we have Claire Howells. Now, Claire, pretty good-looking strike. And that is online, online, online. Oh, right over the top of the hole. Fantastic effort there from Claire. Now, up to the 17th, and we have Harry Russell. He's got a three wood. It's his favourite club. So he'll be delighted that he can use it for his next shot as well. Still some distance to go for uh, Harry. You can take a look at just exactly where he was trying to get to. Yes, definitely another three wood. Harry will be delighted. Back now to the 11th again at Gullen. This long par three. And Brian Jaffrey who missed the green. But look at this, look at this. In for a birdie. That is a fantastic effort. And Brian is a man who knows how to celebrate. Nice high five there. But I tell you what, if you thought that chip in for a birdie at the 11th couldn't be beaten, look at this. Robert Vine from much further away. And you'd be absolutely right for thinking it couldn't be beaten. <laughs> Robert absolutely flying over the green with his second shot there. And uh, not quite such a good birdie attempt. Uh, but, well, we can finish the day by looking at this. Thomas Hurst just off the edge of the green at the 16th here at Gullen, but he's trying to flop a shot up. You might be laughing at that, but he knows his contours and he knows his backspin and that is heading back towards the hole and that would be a tremendous shot if he wasn't actually playing the third, which is over there somewhere, instead of the 16th. And as Thomas works out what to do next, have to say goodbye from the Lynx Golf Cup East Lothian 2017.